my 4x4 caravan. I had a crushed oil pan. All the oil leaked out last week. We drove it this week. It didn't get very far up the path and the motor seized. So that's why it got blasted with the apple cannon. It's a piece of shit now. It's dead forever. So I need a new van to drive. This one was started in April. It didn't keep running. Fuel system problem. I think I've solved that now. There's some muddy battery from hell from the floppy cock. But we ran into another problem. Fucking bees. See them all? They want to get me. Lots of bees. Well, we won't be able to start this 77 van until I kill my stowaways. <laughs> it says it kills spiders, but I bet it kills more. All right. Here they are. Here we go. Bastards. Damn bees. Oh yeah, you're mad now. You are mad. <laughs> Can't even fly. Suckers. Kick, kick, kick. Come on, kick harder. We're going for a ride. Oh, more bees. More bees. That's the problem. You kill the ones in the hive and more come back and don't know anything's going on. Sure did get grown in while it sat. Look at that. I even got vines growing out of the steering column. Out of where the radio goes. Everywhere. This thing's always started before. I know it'll start. I know it'll start. I'm going to clean that carburetor a little bit, so I hope I can keep it running this time. Fucking bees. More bees. Well, now i got the carb all apart. There's the floats. There's the little needle and seed assembly. The top. And lots of crusty shit inside. I gotta get this thing cleaned up and maybe we can go for a ride. Well, this is my portable compressed air tank for blowing out carburetors. You're not near your big compressor. It's a modified propane tank with a recharging nipple. That ought to do the carburetor. Here we go. Oh yeah. Ha! Bees! Fuck! face. Guess the bees don't the smell of stale gas. There's still some coming back. They don't know that I'm a home wrecker yet. Well, now I'm going to fill the carburetor bowl with that expensive Iraqi nectar many Americans have died by and no Canadians luckily to pre-charge this thing so it'll be a guaranteed start and run us Canadians aren't stupid enough to go to Iraq and die for someone else's oil you know we got Alberta lots of our own it may, be, it may be kinda sticky but you guys will still buy it The only thing we gotta fight is mad bees. Mad bees everywhere. Well, carbs going back together nicely. Now I gotta hook the manifold heated choke back up. Accelerator pump linkage. Couple screws. We'll be ready for a try. 
We already got the redneck key in place. Well, carbs all back together. Redneck gas cans all hooked up and ready to go. Filled with pure Alberta gold. Guaranteed on this video, no Americans were killed to rescue any fuel. This came straight down Young Street, all the way on the world's longest road from Alberta to southern Ontario. Well, it did have to stop off in Sarnia to get refined. But that sure beats uh, fighting the Taliban or Iraqi's finest or who knows what. Killer bees, maybe. And now a little prime for a good time. And we're ready to go. I even got my redneck key. Works. She's in neutral. Looks like reverse is up and over. Guess I'll use forward right now. Let's see what happens. Fucking glass. Oh yeah. I think we're uh, gonna get lucky. Oh yeah. Don't need that no more. More bees! Lots more bees! Look at all those fucking bees! Oh my god! This is going to be a very unsafe ride. You better get future weapons. Die! Die, you Iraqis! Hey, here we go! Pontiac, what's shaking? Success! Oh, we even got brakes. Even idling. The carb cleaning's made it run better than it's ever ran. Cool. I love slant sixes, they never die. Not again. This thing isn't a fucking Taurus, is it? Sound of a manual reverse. Well, let's go for a good cruise now. One hand, no power steering. 